sorry, my mom says bread for dressage, but I do three day eventing. So today we're going to do a little bit of a, an eventing footwork exercise if he's amiable to it. He's a little more, he's, he's good when he goes to all the big events, but this is a little bit new and different. So it's always good for them. Would you tell but, everybody that he's stallion of the year for eventing twice? Woo! Yes. Woo! Thank you. Wow. He was eventing stallion of the year for the 2022, 2023. Um, he's competed through the three-star level, has done a lot of two-stars, and been really, really competitive at that level. Um, and he's, he's had quite a bit of time off in his career due to me taking time out to start a family and have a couple kids. So he's kind of been a bit of a, a start-stop. But we're hoping now we're on a, a good road to keep going and hoping he'll be an advanced horse. I've worked with the O'Connors for a lot of years, and they both feel that he has all the scope in the world to be a good horse um, at the highest level. So um, I have to say in dressage, he's always very, very reliable and consistent. Show jumping, he's a very careful show jumper, hates to touch a rail. And cross country, he's, he's brave and he really enjoys his job. Um, so long as he has time to, to see and understand, he's a very willing horse. But like I said today, this might be a little bit different. He's a little more full of it than he normally is. We're horsemen, really. we understand. Yeah, <laughs> and the stallion factor. <laughs> oh, he's a jazz contango. Did you choose jazz for an event to make event for us? I did, so <laughs> people think that's a crazy thought, but as an event rider, it makes me very uncomfortable to be on a horse with a lot of power and not enough elasticity and suppleness when I'm coming around the cross country course, because we have, jumps that come at them fast they don't always have time to see and they have to react quickly so they need quick reflexes and they need to be really supple and elastic that they can get into a bad spot and just be real quick with their feet and hop over and bounce into the water and have a stumble and pick themselves up and jump over a corner and that's where I have found that he's just awesome and excels in that he's just so elastic and so supple in the cross country it's a wonderful feeling versus being you know, on one of those big powerhouse jumpers that you they can't always jump out of a bad spot so, thank you because it, it makes sense but i never would have thought definitely like going forward in my breeding program <coughs> one more. um I'm, I'm trying to breed quite a bit of dressage into the bloodlines because they also have to be really good movers it's gone are the days it's the thoroughbreds winning yes. and eventing i mean if you look at the horses in europe they're fantastic movers. That chin tonic horse that is in the United States right now. I mean, that horse, if you see him go on the flat, could beat most dressage horses, I feel like. Wow. He's just unbelievable. So they have to be good movers. And then I think that just also helps them so much on the cross country. So today, the footwork exercise, I always have different footwork exercises at home for the eventers. Um, bending bounce lines, angled lines, corners, uh, skinnies, all that stuff you can set with the show jumps. And it just gets them really keen and understanding that their job that no matter what the jump, how it's presented to them, what your line coming to the fence is, that they have to jump. They have to stay between the flags. And a good cross country horse really learns to look for the jumps. And he's great. Like we can jump into the water and I can actually drop a rain, which I did a couple weeks ago at the intermediate. <laughs> and he just jumped right out over the narrow wedge. And that's that's a good cross country horse. So you set these exercises, just getting them thinking and I don't jump high we jump low a lot of low footwork exercises so this one the idea is that you can jump them individually on small circles you can go left right left right and then if he's good then I like to tie it together and it's a one stride to a two stride down the center of the line and then to be honest at home I usually have them angled even a bit more where it's more of a 90 degree angle between the standards and again, it's just a nice exercise for the horse because it gets them really thinking and just quick off their feet and jumping what's in front of them. We also have to thank her every year she puts them in our stallion auction. So. Thank you. Thank you.
questions? Where are you based? 20 minutes from here. Oh, okay. Right Originally here. you're from the Midwest. Originally I'm from Michigan, but I'm, I have a big farm 20 minutes north of here. Good. What, what direction? I do dressage, eventing, and jumpers. Something wow. well, He's impressive and you are too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's your number? Can I just... Bring them up. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 She was just saying he got really relaxed once he was going. He's, it's always been him. As soon as he has a job, he's happy. You ask him just to stand, he's like, oh, we need a job. But that being said, it also one of the shows. And us eventers, we tie our horses to the trailer and compete all day when we're local down here. And he'll stand tied to the trailer for eight hours with wow. loose horses and crazy horses, and he could care less. Did but he study at all? Yep. And when it's time to put the bridle on, like he grabs the bag. Like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, so Loves to work. So, have you presented him anywhere? He's approved Oldenburg. Presented him with them. Does he have any goals? He does not because I chose not to breed him a lot of years until he could prove himself in sport, uh, which he has now. So hoping to get more pulls. And didn't you end up breeding him? I did, yes. I have frozen. Yes, yes. So he's available that way no matter what? He's available frozen no matter what, and I think what I'll do is I'll offer him fresh in like windows when I know he won't be competing like the month of May or something. And then that doesn't bother him as far as... I actually collected him in the middle of a weekend last year for a friend who wanted him. And I collected him like on the way home from show jumping and went back the next day in cross country. Oh my god. <laughs> he was relaxed. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. No. He really he knows when the saddle goes on, he doesn't even pay attention to mares or anything. He's very focused. Smart horse. Smart? Yeah. He's he's a very smart horse. He really can like turn yeah. anything off him. What's behind the contango? It's Jazz Contango. Romer. 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 And then some W, isn't it? The mare was a W there. Yep. 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 He, he's very yeah actually i'm hoping that we'll do the four three test this summer and qualify he qualified for regionals at third level in like a week of practicing like this is a half pass he's like okay and he just picks it up so yeah he he learned like pirouette in a day so we'll hopefully do the four three test this summer and he also jumps in the meter 20 and wins because he's so fast in the speed class it's like he's been like in the top I think it was like 6 out of 30 in one of the meter 20 speed classes last summer at WEC. And I wasn't even trying, it was just... Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And in the dressage, dressage? He's always in the top after dressage. Wow, that helps too. He's super, like, he goes in there, he puffs up his chest, and he's like, everybody's here. Good for you. That's a, that's a really neat horse. Thank you. Thank you.